T and Gadget Solutions on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Plex as your media server to organize your all your media such as your like your pictures, your music and your videos. Mostly I use mine for videos but um, I'll be going over a, a certain tip you I can show you how how to fix on missed matched data within Plex itself. Now all of this is stored on one computer or while you can have it on a hard drive. Now I suggest having like an external hard drive over about say ter one terabyte um, or mine media is offline on my external media. Mine is over a terabyte but I've got that amount of anyway so and you're gonna need a laptop to run your media server now plex is a client server media player system so you'll have to download plex, plex from plex.tv the media server and if you want to watch it online the media player itself now Plex can be played across all major platforms T smart TVs tablets, phones, you name it, no, today's technology, Plex can run on a, in, either the Xbox, through Xbox 360, Xbox One or the PlayStation 4, it's major and also you can integrate it with um, yeah, Alexa as well so you can always use Alexa to say Alexa please play I say Suicide Squad and she'll search for it on your PlayStation 4 now. Not many play, play, players love it, but PlayStation 4 and I think the Xbox also covers it as well. So what we're going to do today, um, I've, I've got a video that is not picking up properly its white information and its metadata. So I'm going to go over with this with you now. Um, I'm, I've been using my Mac for this. But all my media is on my skeleton laptop. When I mean about skeleton laptop, it doesn't do nothing. It is purely for my Plex running on one of my external hard drive and over my network. I don't don't do nothing. I use all of my Mac. So uh, let's let's get into it and let's show you how what you can do. Now one of these videos is called Pursuit. Now the Cold Pursuit is a good good film about. Uh, basically Plex hasn't picked up the right information so what we're going to need to do is you're going to need to open your Plex now bear in mind I got Plex on my iMac as well as my laptop I manage all the information and so organizing my Plex on my Mac etc so let's get to it um, I've, I, I've already got my Plex open so I just open that if you already haven't got it and as you can see my library is consistent I've burn I've had all DVDs I've used which I've been able to burn using my laptop and put into in and import it into my library using and put it onto my hard drive. So now Cold Pursuit this one year the one I has highlight now as you can see Columbia Biana has got its own picture. I've got into it. It's got its own in right information, what studio, who's directed, who's the cast, etc. Blah blah blah. Now if we go into Cope Suit here, it hasn't got the right picture, it hasn't got no data, no nothing. Now we can fix this with the metadata that Plex has got it integrated with a certain Agents now agent when I talk about agents this uh, they use it takes the information from the internet such as like the TVD TV DMB which is the database for all TV series and, and etc and you got the movie database as well now movies uh, We'll be using now But yeah, uh, the same process goes for TV programs as well So what we will do now we will need to come back up to here Cold Pursuit is here, so you want to click the three dots here and go down 
to match um, match will ma this will match the right data um, on from the internet now it will all try to automatically pick it up for you um, as you can see my locations on my external hard drive which is on my laptop I'm accessing all this via my iMac which now there you go look, it's picked up it picked it up Cope pursuit. Now, if it doesn't pick it up, you can go search options and you could put in your title of your film and your year. Now, sometimes it doesn't always pick up exactly what it just did. Um, you would have to put your year underneath your. But it doesn't matter. Plex, I've done it automatically for you. As for your agent, you it's use Plex Movie for this, understandably, but I always use the movie database. So what I'm going to do is then search for that, and then I'm going to search the movie database, which has its own website, and it says no matches found. Now this is what this is why I said you need to take out the year, place it into the year 2019, select your agent, the movie database, and go search. Again, I'm going to search it, and and this is the right one, 2019. And 100 that's the way to download the film called Pursue. Now, while it does this, while it does now, Plex will search for the metadata, the right information, and, and will update the film with the right analyzed information. They, now, we've got the right poster. So, if we click little pen on the bottom left hand corner here, it brings up. You can edit all your details here if you wish, but you don't have to because it's matched with the movie database. Um, you can go to poster and choose which poster you want it, what want. But any po any poster is, is suitable. But the actual official poster for this is the one year. Uh, you know, save changes and. That is it really. Uh, it says it's got the right date metadata now. And as you can see, it's picked up all the information. As beforehand, you didn't have this. So now you know who's directed it, what studio, or who's the cast. And obviously, Liam Neeson is the main person, main character in this film. And it also gives you any related movies you wish to use if you've got any. On your library, and um, this is really it. This is just a hint for you if you can't have any trouble getting the right information off the metadata. Um, and every time you do these, it creates all the metadata from all your it creates on your laptop. Now, obviously, I like I've said, this is my own movies. I uh, purely, I purely had, I burnt, I used, and I've imported them in from the desk myself using my CD drive, going into my laptop and putting it into a thingy. I've done this over years. It took me ages, this does, but I've got everyone, everything. This also includes TV programs, not TV programs, are the, the main what main problem. I've had problems with the Belgravia, it didn't pick it up, but I fixed that as well. So, but yes, um, it's just brilliant. You can access all your main server, and uh, obviously, because you can create your own. Libraries as well, but this is in a separate, I'll, a separate video. I'll probably tell you about. But yeah, yes. So that's, that's it for this video. Um, I, but I saying that's all I can go over. But but saying Plex is a wonderful, um, ideal digital video system, so you can access. Um, off your TV uh, if you're in the night but always I'll use a wired connection of your internet now I suggest having a fast internet make sure you're over like uh, over one gigabyte of speed or etc and getting 170 
megabytes, but any speed is ideal, but um, it's ideal. I've shared my library with my family and they love it. So that is it really. Thank you. I'm Craig. This is IT Gadget and Solutions. Um, before I go, please, please subscribe to this ch uh, channel, like this video, and let leave your comments below if you need if you want any more hints or tips or any new videos within Plex. So that is it guys. Thank you. Have a good day.